welcome to Grubbin' with Colt Moo. On today's episode, we have the three highest class beers we have ever tried. Yeah. They include Natty Ice, Ooh. Bush, and Rainier Ale. We kind of... Do you, do you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> yeah. I really enjoy with these beers. Wait, we're getting classy here, so one second. Oh my now goodness. Now I feel classy. We've broken out the blazer, folks. The Natty Ice was a request by one of our subscribers, uh, Taxman. So... He's the guy that follows us. Yeah, he's been begging for it. He's been begging for it, so... Why? We got it. We got your Natty Ice. Let's dive into the bush. Yes. <laughs> Bush. I see what you did there. Celebrate tradition. Mm. It's Bush classic. Clear tradition. and bright as mountain air. Yeah, I like that tradition. <laughs> it looks very, <laughs> very urine-like. <laughs> I'm betting I'm going to get a hangover before I even finish what's in this cup. <laughs> When we get to the natural ice, uh, I'm just going to be curled up in a corner somewhere. Not drunk, <laughs> just hurting. It's like, why did I do that to my body? <laughs> it's going to be like the Q&A all over again. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's get forget. this shit over with. Let's forget. <laughs> Pinkies Cheers. up, gentlemen. Pinkies Cheers. up. Oh, shit. Classy. Mm. Classy. Bring out your class. Mm. Nice bouquet of rice and water. Yeah, seriously. Mm, you're and right. A little bit of carbonation. You're right. Yeah. I could see why, like, this is very popular in colleges, though, because you can just drink the living shit out of this. This is perfect uh, beer pong beer. Yeah. That you can keep. Like, it, it, it's pretty <laughs> flavorless. Yeah. And it's actually kind of easy to drink, I think. It, it tastes like you poured some club soda through, like, a sack of old rice and filtered it that way. <laughs> Um, it, it's just kind of very underwhelming in flavor. Um, it's got nice carbonation, but it's it's just exactly what you would expect from a beer of this nature. Uh, it's just a five. I mean, it's very neutral. There's no discerning anything that makes it bad. Yeah, nothing that I, makes it great. I would agree with you. I... Uh, yeah, that is kind of a tough one. Like, Budweiser does rate at, like, a three for me. Uh, just because it's starting to achieve a flavor that goes in the wrong direction. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. This I agree. is very neutral, but I got to give it, like, a four. It's 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 so just... It leaves me wanting for everything. For everything, folks. I need, I need from this beer. And it gives me nothing. Our next beer... Rainier Ale. Mountain Fresh Ale. This beer comes in at 7.3% ABV. So it's saying. It'll put, it'll put hair on your side. It has that going over bush. But it also has other aspects. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it's rough. Ew. It's... Something's decomposing in there, folks. It's rough. Oh. <laughs> Here's to moving up. Yep. Pinkies up. The pinkies up. Woo. Cheers. Uh, I get some uh, sour. Uh, yeah. I get a lot of sour uh, there. Uh, That's the only way to do it. Do it Ew, off. and then it's bready yeah, afterwards. Yep, yep. It's yep. sour and then <laughs> bready. <laughs> Ew! It's like moldy bread. <coughs> it's like ripping off a band-aid. You just gotta when it, when get it, it all done at once. When it, you didn't even take any. <laughs> I know. Your band-aid was that big. I know. Was one when of you baby first band take a, a taste, when it first hits your tongue, it's deceiving because it's just mm. sort of... You, all you get is the carbonation, a nice cooling from the beer, but then the flavor hits you with the sour, that, that, that funky like malt liquor sort mm -hmm. of sour. But it's not as heavy as like oldie or like anything like, or like it's still reserved or anything, but it's there. Yeah, it's not, I, it's not quite that far. I either. could get through one of those a lot easier than one of these. I don't know what's displeasing me about it, but I I think it's because it's got that malt liquor taste and yeah. then it's got rainier taste as yeah. well. Oh, but it's so sour and then bready. And then it's it finishes such a just, yeah, bready. And oh. kind of gross. There are other beers at the same ABV at the same price that are better options. Way better options. Yeah. This reminds me of like a dog bite that's gone bad. Ooh, yeah. dog bite, perfect. It's gotta be after it's gone bad though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Because I'll drink a dog bite. I, I kind of enjoy a dog bite. They're good when you're already drunk. <laughs> yeah, but a dog bite is a much heavier lifter. Yeah. It comes in at 10, uh, 10 ABV, you know? This is just ugly and its back is weak. It, it sucks. Oh, <laughs> dude, it is not... It is not gonna work for you. I'm giving this a three. Oh. I concord. Mm. Oh god, a three really? Mm-hmm. I don't. It's care not about. making me puke, so I can't like give it less than a three. Is there a beer that makes you puke? There no. is no beer that not makes yet. You puke. There's no beer that gives a, that gets a two. Oh, this is like a two. It's so gross. Like, I want to put it down now, but my glass is still occupied. <laughs> <laughs> Occupado. Yeah. And now, the main event, <laughs> natural ice. I'm gonna get my, my pinky cocked. Yeah. Rich right. people call this dessert. <laughs> <laughs> ice brewed for a naturally smooth taste mm. at 5.9%. Mm. It's a Maybe. lager, too. I wonder exactly what kind of ice they use to filter this. <laughs> the same ones they put in urinals. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> We're about to have some memories. This is what we do for our subscribers. Oh. Yep. Cheers. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Ooh, it's icy. Oh, God. It terrible. doesn't taste nearly as bad as it smells. No. It smells horrible, though. I actually think this is... Oh, God. Maybe the least offensive one to my taste buds. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Ooh. I, I can taste that it's higher ABV than, than uh, the bush. And that's drawing me in more. There's a little bit more of an actual beer flavor in there somewhere. Hiding. It's hiding under yeah. the gross, but it's in there. I can, I, yeah, I, can, I suppose so. I can hear it knocking. I'm trying to let it in. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let it in too deep. I think there's a bit more flavor than the bush, yeah, actually, on this one. Like, right up front. <laughs> Maybe not all bush. Some bush is a little too flavorful. <laughs> If you get my draft. Oh man, I'm not immature at all. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is like the bush is drinkable, but it doesn't taste like it'll ever get you drunk. <laughs> you're you're kind of right. This yeah. This is gonna get me drunk at some point. Yeah. Oh, trust me. <laughs> trust me. These are trouble. Oh, uh, these these are the ones that leave you underneath something that you shouldn't be under. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> Whether it's living or not. <laughs> The more I'm drinking it, it's starting to wear it kinda, on It kind of grows on you pretty yeah. pretty quickly. I, I think yeah. I might end up drinking some more of this tonight. And so, I'm be fucked up. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying about it. Like, if, I, if these are the only three options, I'm going to Natty Ice. Unless I want to stay sober longer, I'm, I'm going to pick the bush. I, however, have wisdom under this particular set of circumstances. <laughs> and let me tell you, this... Your head is going to be this big tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These give you more hungover than, like, wine, vodka, and kerosene put together. You know what? I got to give that just the step ahead of the bush and give it a 5.5. .5. I was kind of leaning the same way. It's not, it's not exceptionally good. Yeah. It's not quite a 6 yet. I can't, like, drink this all the time. I'm going to give it 5 and... Point five seven nine four. <laughs> I'm just gonna put up a picture that the picture that just popped up below you was just you be with a dick. dick in your hand. <laughs> Seriously. Even though I know this beer has hurt me in the past, <laughs> and I may need counseling, uh, I would still give this beer like five, uh, five point five. Tax man, Natty Ice. You know what? It's not so bad. No. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, this has been Grubbin' with Colt Moo. Thank you for watching. Classy edition. Classy.